Welcome Sagittarians. Welcome, welcome. This is the Taurus season. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is about your um, finance, money, and um, wealth reading. This season um, advise you of what is going to be coming up and how your second house, what is going to be happening in your second house. So this is a positive, positive energy because it's going to be alerting you about your second house and how you're going to be dealing with certain problems, certain issues um, that is going to be coming up in your second house. So let's go in this Sagittarian woman and young men. I see you're standing up in your reading. Okay. So we see men between the ages of 19 and 45 and women 50 years and older. Women on the old is standing up into this reading. The younger men is going to be affected. Older men, you are safe. You are good. Financially, a lot of you, men 50 years and older, are having um, a positive financial stability. Young ladies also, younger than 50, you are safe and you're okay. What we're looking at is that they are looking at some of you young men and older women. And there is some sort of information, details, documentation at the workplace. And it's as if um, they're recognizing that you had something to do with blocking, especially you ladies. You had something in blocking some sort of a data information and they're not recognizing that you ladies 50 years and older have something to do with some sort of a, a work process not to, to flow in the correct order. So a lot of you ladies 50 years and older is going to be affected um, where they're going to be recognizing that uh, some sort of a data and information that was supposed to be um, filtered out uh, and uh, um, some sort of a work process was being blocked up because uh, you ladies were the one that was trying to block a situation and they're going to be recognizing this. So, um, ladies, um, 50 years and older, you're going to be the center of some sort of an unexpected situation that was created where... Um, they're going to be blaming a lot of you ladies for something that you have done. And it's going to be affecting ladies 50 years and older. And it has to do with some sort of a documentation information. But for some of you, it's going to be that there is no passion in what you're doing. That um, you're not showing up for yourself or um, you're not um, you're not showing that you have the... Uh, ability uh, to uh, sustain the position that you're in. So, ladies, 50 years and older, you're going to be under fire. There's no question about this. A lot of you, ladies, 50 years and older, are going to be under fire because they're going to be recognizing that you and a younger um, man, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian, younger man, have created a whole lot of obstacles and issues. So, um, this younger person is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person. Whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, they're going to be recognizing that you ladies, along with an, a younger man, have blocked some sort of a data and information and um, trying to um, um, uh, create a way that some sort of a process did not uh, uh, resolve or some sort of a data didn't um, come up on time. It's as if... Uh, you block this thing and place this thing on a desk in a pile and they're going to be recognizing what you ladies have done. So I see a lot of you ladies together with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius that they're going to be calling out about some sort of a work. Now, this is a situation that is going to be affecting the second house, your financial stability. It's going to be a, a career boomer. And when we say a career boomer is that this situation is going to be um, um, affecting your career moving forward because they recognize that it is a situation where you ladies um, have created some sort of a problem in order for other people not to or for a process not to work. It's, 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 it's as if, um, uh, you know, it was more, more um, self 
um, a gender. You were having some sort of a, you had some, uh, it's as if you and this man had some sort of a agenda that you were um, trying to bring out and trying to balance, in, in balance some sort of a process. And they're going to be recognizing this, all right? So, the first week is the week of the 20th of April until the 26th. A lot of you are dealing with a young Aries Leo or Sagittarian person. This person is no more than 45 years old. And whoever this person is, they're going to be recognizing that this person together with their um, supervisor or manager have worked together in order to create some sort of a chaos in the process, some sort of a process, some sort of a work process, okay? And they were not carrying their weight and they were creating other um, issues for other people and not even recognizing that they were cramping a situation. And I see managers are going to be coming in and going to be recognizing that some sort of a data and information was blocked and it's because of these two people who decided that they didn't want a situation or some sort of a um, resolution to some sort of an issue that was going on. They wanted to keep this thing in chaos. And I see managers are going to be coming up and it's going to be really banning, removing this Aries Leo or Sagittarian person because they recognize what this person have done and how this person have created a whole lot of chaos um, for other people in a corporation institution. And I see managers are going to be really looking at what this person have done. In the second week, the week of um, April 27 until May 3rd, we are recognizing that um, some of you ladies um, or it could be another Aries Leo or Sagittarian person. I see it's not a good week for this person because uh, um, management is really looking at this person and recognizing um, that whoever it is, it could be you Sagittarian women 50 years and older or an Aries Leo or Sagittarian older woman. But whoever this person is has took data and information and was trying to um, create your um, something else or trying to block some sort of a process. If you recognize this person was trying to block some sort of a process and they're going to be recognizing and standing in and resolving the situation. I see this person could be having a whole lot of problems moving up the career ladder, moving forward because they're going to be recognizing that this person has created some sort of a chaos by blocking information that should have been, um, either enter in a system or work in a system, this person had gotten the information and the information was on this person's desk for a very long time that created problems and that the company could have lost a lot of money. And they're going to be really looking at this person. So I see this person is going to be having some sort of a shift um, in their career moving forward. So maybe this is your supervisor. Okay, and whoever this person is, as uh, is as if uh, you were up for some sort of a promotion. It's as his per personal office that spoke to your supervisor and said, "Hey, we need um, you know, this person is on your team. We need this person to um run another um department." And this, they did not want uh, um to give it to you. And I see that they're going to be recognizing the play, what this person have done, and how this person tried to block some sort of a process that they were trying to place in order. In, in, and, and they're going to be now recognizing. So be aware. It could be a supervisor, manager, or a co-worker. Okay? Be aware of this person. As we look at... Um, did we do the third week? The third, the third week, which is from... Uh, May 4th until May 11th, I see the energy of the Nine of Wands. So what is this energy? Oopsie daisy. What is this energy with the Nine of Wands? The Nine of Wands is the sun and moon. All right. So the energy of the Nine of Wands is the sun on um, moon. The energy of the sun and moon have to do with some sort of a huge um, significant change that should be coming in, um, that never came in. And people are now going to be recognizing um, that uh, someone tried to block the changes that would have come in. It's as if uh, people are now recognizing that uh, the information was sent out and someone promisedly 
try to block um, some sort of a situation that was sent out. And they're now going to be recognizing um, who this person is and what this person have done, basically, because uh, um, it's as if some sort of information was given um, to this person. And then I see that um, they um, did not... Um, it's as if they, they, they never uh, update the system, okay? They never update the system. And I see that this is where they're going to be recognizing that someone was trying to create some sort of a situation that assists them. So it's as if some of you would have had something um, unexpectedly. Some of you would have had some sort of a um, financial luck where... Um, you would be promoted to another level and data and information was sent and it was never processed and it was held by someone so that it was not being processed and they're going to be recognizing who held this data and information behind and the reason why they have done it and I see um, people are going to be getting to the bottom of it and it's going to be a getting to find out who and what was really going on in a corporation institution. So expect some sort of a problems coming up on the work floor where a lot of you are going to be recognizing that your own colleagues were working against you. Your own colleagues were working against you and um, they're going to be recognizing that information that was supposed to process this colleague did not process the information. So some of you could have gotten it and is going to be recognizing that this colleague was working against you all this time, not really understanding why some sort of uh, information was not processed. And it's as if, uh, um, you know, you got to go, you had some sort of a meeting, maybe you had to pick up your kids, you asked a co-worker to process some sort of uh, information data. This person said they forget it. Did they really forget it? Or did they just want you to fall on your face? This is something that this person did expressively so you gotta be aware of this all right let's move on to the fourth week fourth and final week it's the week of may 11th um may 11th until may 20th you have the four of ones venus in aries and it's in reverse so there we are that is what i'm saying to you is that data information was sent in and was supposed to be processed and someone try um, to ruin a situation for you um, because of jealousy basically and it is uh, as if uh, you know either this person that this person did it intentionally okay so it could be a colleague or a team player who was supposed to process something in order for you to finish off your work and did it intentionally. So Venus in Aries is not there because now you're getting the it for what this person have done. So obviously this person is working against you because they want you, um, they want your position or they don't want you to be successful. And this is a situation because it, this person is trying to work against you that is going to be affecting your second house, your house of financial stability. So here we are recognizing who we are dealing with and what is transpiring and how people try to shift, create shifts and, um, within, um, your, um, Climbing up the ladder career wise because they have some sort of a jealousy that they wanted you not to be successful. And because of this, they have not processed and, um, enter some sort of a data in a computer in order for the information to be processed. They were trying to get away with it because they wanted, it's as if data and information, whatever is transpiring, um, someone was supposed to process some sort of a data and information and now they're going um, behind and is looking and is recognizing that this person never did it and it's because they had they had their own agenda and a lot of you are going to be recognizing this and really recognizing and a lot of you are going to be seeing that you have no faith in this person anymore because um, you had expected this person to really um, 
um, have your back, but you're going to be recognizing that this person um, was working on their own agenda because they had an agenda for themselves and not considering you because they wanted your position. So be aware of this. Um, ladies and gentlemen, choose one of the crystal. If you're not yet a member, join. There is so much in the archive. There are so much answers to a lot of your question. Stay there, not just uh, trying to figure out things. Uh, join in the archive. Whatever question that you ask, you will receive the message. Um, cross watch to see what is coming up for whoever is, uh, um, you know, whoever you feel. Find out what is their um, their sun sign and check them out by going in the archive and looking at their readings to find out what is coming in. Some of you, this can happen um, um, either in the past or in the future. It depends on your frequency because these are high frequency information that is coming out for the future. I do love you guys. Please like, shares, and support. And share, share, share. Namaste until next time.